I'd like to tell you the story of a little girl who, without knowing it, changed her father's world. With her beautiful brown eyes and pudgy little nose, round little belly, she smelled like a rose. So tiny, so small, delicate and full of wonder. She had this father fooled. All day she screamed like thunder. Ashti is here. And don't you forget, I'm the new princess in town, and Varsha is my pet. This father was shocked, baffled, yet intrigued. Who was this child? And when would her sister be freed? In the blink of an eye, five years was gone now. Pitter patter of feet echoed, a dancer was born. An explosion of character. As though in a trance, she excelled in life, as if it were a dance. Seven years in South, an engineering degree, doors started to open, a new world to see. Time was now flying. Slow down, I begged. Time, can't you hear me? Please. As I bowed my head. Daddy, I love him. I lifted my eyes. <clears throat> my princess was a young lady, to my surprise, a symphony of emotion. Tears started to flow. I know it was time to let my baby go. Life is a dance, just let it flow. Don't focus on the end. Enjoy the whole show. Raval, my son, thank you for wedding this bride. I now hand you with trust, my flesh, blood, and pride. As you two walk new wavelengths, long after today's drum subside, it's time for this father to step aside. Before I do, I ask you, my little girl, to take my hand in dance. is my eldest son and the second of the three kids. From early days, he knew what he wanted and he has worked tremendously hard to achieve his goals and be where he is today. He is smart, level-headed, fiercely independent and loyal to his friends and family. He loves football and I understand, so his friends tell me, was contemplating to the professional until his knees gave way. He can do no wrong if you believe his mother and I guess this bond was established from birth to when he stopped breastfeeding at the ripe old age of three and a half years, as he never took a bottle until later on in life. Seriously though, Raval has found, made us proud in all spheres, and clearly today in the life pattern he has found in Ashti, he continues to shine. According to our Dharma, marriage is made in heaven, and that bond is supposed to last seven lifetimes. It is one of the most important duties that of the house householders that you, Raval and Ashti, are now embarking upon. Based on my meager 37 years of marriage, 
I can tell you that it is not a road paved with milk and honey. There'll be bumps, potholes, hurdles and obstacles along the way. But if you please trust in each other, respect each other, exercise flexibility, maintain a strong spiritual connection, and most importantly, always keep the lines of communication open, you'll be able to navigate the rough waters. I also want you to remember that one does not marry the person that one can live with, but rather the person that one can't live without. The smartest investment you, that you can all that you all can make, apart from a little lotto, of course, is in yourselves. Invest your time and energies in making each other happy and loving each other as if there's no tomorrow. Let me close by welcoming Ashti, now formerly our second daughter, to the Supu family. Ashti, rest assured that Shama and I will ensure Raval fully discharges his responsibilities as he'll be accountable to us and will only be across the street. Finally, just a gentle reminder that Shama and I are recently retired and have an abundance of spare time on our hands. So Ashti Ravan, need I say more? Thank you. <laughs>